Hi, and welcome to today's Pranayama practice. So today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Nadi Shodhana, which is alternate nostril breath. And it's a really simple practice to do, but sometimes we're more apt to do a practice if we actually know what it's doing for us. And so the nadis are these energy channels that uh, are compared to like electrical wires that carry the electrical um, charge through our body. And they, there's two in particular that weave back and forth um, around the chakras and uh, are related to the nostrils. So the left nostril, and I don't know when you're watching this, I might be, it might be backwards because I see the writing on my wall is backwards. Um, anyway, the left nostril, when we block that nostril, or when we're working with the nostrils, I should say, um, is related to our yin energy, our uh, right brain, left nostril, right brain, so our, our planning, our thinking, our compassion, um, but also can be depression. Um, our subconscious mind, our feminine side, the moon energy, the yin energy, um, mental energy, those are all associated with this left or, or ida, uh, ping, or ida uh, energy channel that ends in the left nostril. And now the other side, the right nostril, that is related to the left side brain, so opposite. And that is digestion, that's activity, that's our logical brain, our conscious mind. Um, that is the yang, um, the sun, um, all of those things. And so when we do alternate nostril breath, what we're essentially doing is balancing these energies. And uh, when our breath is not flowing freely, um, our interchange with our surrounding uh, sources of energy is limited. And so being able to balance and control the flow of energy in our body in these electrical circuits is, uh, is key to our health. And if you are going to continue that analogy with electrical lines, if you have no electricity, there is no light. And if you have um, too much flowing, you can short circuit and so we're wanting to balance both the right and the left and balance that energy so that we can, um, when things are prana is flowing freely and our energy is balanced state, then our system can thrive more brightly. So let's go ahead and get started. And what we're going to do is part of Tantra, any of the practices in Tantra work with a lot of imagery. And so we're going to work with some in imagery. We'll start with just our alternate nostril breath, and then we'll add the imagery. For instance, as we're inhaling through the right nostril, um, imagine drawing up earth energy from your base all the way up to the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, um, think about releasing whatever negative um, thoughts, emotions, feelings that you would like to release. It could be anger, frustration, judgment, criticism, um, whatever, resentment, whatever words that you think of as you exhale, think about exhaling those things out of that side of your body into the earth. And so with every breath on both sides, we will think about drawing up that energy and you can imagine it as a white light, you can imagine it as moon energy, you can imagine it as a warm yellow light, Whatever works for you, we'll add that imagery to each inhale and to each exhale. So the inhale, we're drawing from earth all the way up that particular side of the body that you're breathing in. Uh, if it's the right, you're breathing in the right, or the left, you're imagining that whole left side body. And, and this becomes a really, um, a really excellent uh, exercise for, uh, for balance and for health. So let's go ahead and get started. And the other thing I want to mention before we start is these two fingers, your middle and index finger. Traditionally, they are down on the palm and we're using the ring finger and the thumb to block the nostrils. Um, sometimes in different practices, especially when we're doing chakra work, we have used these fingers on the third eye. And you can also do that, but this is the traditional way. I'll be doing it this way just so that I can see. Um, and you can have your eyes closed for this so that your awareness is more internal. 
And one more thing I want to mention before we start the practice. Um, rather than holding at the tip of the nose, what we want to do is we travel just to below that place where the bony or cartilage part of our nose is. And we just slide the finger up and down, releasing um, the pressure uh, as we switch from side to side. So bring your fingers whichever position that you want to use for your uh, middle and index finger. And sit up nice and tall. You can be in a chair, you can be in a meditation seat, but we want the spine to be long and tall so that that energy can flow through the spine, through those nadis that run uh, through the center of the body. And so let's start with our fingers in position, but breathing in, inhaling through no, both nostrils, sorry. <laughs> so take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out both nostrils. And then begin inhaling through the right, slightly blocking the left. And just a very gentle pause at the top of your inhale. And then switch so that you can exhale the left. Stay here as you inhale left. Pause at the top and then switching to exhale right. Stay here as you inhale right. Pausing at the top and then switching to exhale left. Stay here as you inhale left. And then switching to exhale right. So we're going to keep going in this manner. Before we add the imagery, we're going to try to... Actually, you can just stop for a moment. We're going to try to bring um, the um, equal, equal breath, equal part breath into this practice as well. So whatever your inhale or your exhale feels comfortable, it might be inhaling to four, exhaling to four, or inhaling to six, exhaling to six, whatever works for you. What we want to do is bring the inhale and the exhale equal. And so just add that count into your breath. And I'm going to think of a count of um, uh, four is pretty standard, especially if you're just starting this. And just a gentle pause, like maybe one or two at the top. So let's, we'll do a count of four, pause for two, exhale for four. Okay, so let's start again, starting with the right nostril to inhale for three, two, one. And pause for two, one. And switch to exhale for three, two, one. Now continue on your own, inhaling for four, pausing for two, and exhaling for four. So just continue for a few more rounds with your count. And as that begins to feel comfortable and even, then you can begin to slowly add in the imagery that we spoke about. So whichever side you're inhaling, whichever nostril you're inhaling, imagine drawing up that white healing energy all the way to the crown of your head. And when you switch to exhale, Release those negative thoughts, emotions, anger, judgment, resentment. Whatever it is, whatever comes to your mind. And then continue in that manner. We're going to do six rounds like this.
We're about halfway there. Keep going with that flow of even breath and inhaling the healing light of energy and then exhaling whatever you need to release, whatever negativity you're ready to let go of. Complete one more round of inhale and exhale so that you end on the exhale on the right nostril. And without rushing to get there, once you've exhaled right, just release your hands down to your knees, eyes still closed. And breathe free, freely through both nostrils. And then let your eyes flutter open. Come back to your awareness of where you're at. And so this is a perfect practice to do before you start your physical uh, asana practice. Also an excellent practice to do before you do the meditation, um, before you go to bed, when you get up in the morning, really any time. Um, but see if you can do this practice every day for the next week. And notice how you feel after each practice. And uh, we'll see you next week on your mat. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.